are you one of those people who don't think you're very good on camera? Well, I want to tell you something. You really are. I mean, if you're anything like me, when I first got started, I, I thought I, I stunk. And to tell you the truth, I probably did. But, and here's how I got on camera. I was in a mastermind trying to build a business. And this guy was a videographer, but he was, I didn't really join the mastermind for that. He was built, he had a huge business. I wanted to learn how he did business. So he had a challenge for us to do. And he really called me on it. And he said, here's what you do. Take your phone every day record a one minute video and put it up on Facebook. Do you know how many times it took me to do one of those one minute videos? And then I, guess what happened? I really stopped caring. See, and that's one of the keys. And I got five tips that I'm probably gonna give you. I like to add value, so I'll probably give you more tips. The biggest thing is just be yourself. If you're goofy, be goofy, right? As soon as I stopped caring what people thought about me, because nobody cares. See, the only thing I cared about was I wanted to build a business so I could retire in style. And guess what? I live in an RV. This was my wife and my goal. We wanted to live in an RV. We're here. <laughs> it was so neat. So here are the tips. The first one is when you start doing video, first, just play around with it. You don't need fancy equipment, but just play around. It takes some videos. You don't have to upload them anywhere, but show them to your family and friends. You watch them. See what you're good at. See what you're not good at. See what your quirks are. Do you say um a lot? I mean, I, I used to. I don't do that anymore. Uh, but I do some other funny things. Uh, but be yourself and see if there's things you can improve on. But don't worry about it because guess what? The more you do, the more you're going to get better. I heard about this, and you might have heard about this before, because at one time, when I first started out my journey, I'm a teacher, so you think I would be able to talk in front of people. I am, but I'm able to talk in front of high school students and middle school students, not peers. So you maybe heard that I won a contest. I had to speak in front of, a, oh my gosh, it was 4,000 people. And I was pumped. I won that contest until it got close to give the talk. And I started really putting pressure on me. And then I, did you ever hear this? You look out over the crowd and pretend that they're all naked. And it, that didn't work for me. But what I did do was many times when I'm on video, and when I first got started, I put a picture of a friend or my wife or somebody in my business that I wanted to feel like I was talking to them. And that's what it's all about. You're talking to a person. So personalize it. Put a picture of somebody, your spouse, a partner, a friend, a mentor, a teammate that you really are good friends with and talk to them, right? Explain to them what you got going. That's what it all is. So play around some, personalize. The next one is pace. Man, there's some really fast talkers. And I don't think I'm one of them. I'm usually a slow talker. Um, and I appreciate people who talk fast. I just can't do it. I need to pace up. I forgot the word what I was going to say. But you got to be concerned about your pace. Most people when they first start talking on video talk too fast. So learn how to slow yourself down so people can understand what you're talking. The next thing add excitement. Right? And that, that's my challenge is I'm kind of stoic on camera. In fact, I've had people call out, will you smile some? <laughs> and that's true because I start talking about this topic and my brain gets, I have to make sure I'm saying everything I do. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting up on a text notepad behind me on my computer where I can reach out. So if you see me reach, I'm just trying to make sure I hit all the topics because I would just want to be myself and talk and smile and be goofy. The next one is uh, pretend, meaning don't copy. I listen to people every day and I take their copy, put it in my words, add to it, take some away, because not everything what they say is what I would ever say. You know, but don't be a copy. Just find out what they're talking about. There's some really smart people out there. Use what they have. Um, 
and, and I hope I'm saying that right because I'm not you know there's so many people are that makes are so successful on the internet don't reinvent the wheel right you know take some pressure off yourself pretend and don't copy the third one is passion and I, you know, th where this comes from is I really had to learn this because my first business, I thought I was going to make a million, but I had no passion about it. I ran out of things to talk about. I, I mean, I, I liked it, but I had no passion. See, now what I talk about is how to build a business online because at one time in my life, I was, my kids were just headed off to college. I was living paycheck to paycheck. I could not help them pay for their college and they both ended up with huge debts just made me mad and I couldn't do anything about it so I started building an online business that's what I went for that's my passion to help people that were just like me so I didn't feel like such a loser like you didn't feel like such a loser because I'm not a loser it was just life threw some crap at me that's my passion <laughs> the third one is you just got to take the pressure off just take it off your shoulders just be you just be goofy. Um, I think one of my best videos, in fact, it, it probably still, I know it's still out there. Uh, my first business is called Financial Head. I wanted to teach people how to make money, how to work with their money. And I was good at it. It just wasn't, wasn't me. I didn't want to learn that much about that industry. But what I did on video, I asked people which hat fit me best. And I tried on, I bet, I can't tell you, 20 different hats look goofy, but that tape has a lot of views and keeps building on views. It's really kind of funny. Um, so take the pressure off. Have some fun. Just be you. I mean, who cares, right? I mean, nobody, if your friends see it and they say, well, what are you doing on video? Just say, well, I'm being goofy. <laughs> then the next one is just practice, 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 practice. See, I played college basketball. Seriously. And my talent took me as far as it could. I had a blast, but my parents thought I was nuts because I'd be out shooting. I put seven spots on the court and I'd make, not shoot, make a hundred shots from each spot. But not only from the spot, it coming from different directions in a dribble, in a spin, I bet I would make, holy cow, 2,000 shots a day. I, well, that was what I did. They thought I was nuts, but guess what? That took me where I wanted to go. Not quite. My talent only could take me so far, but what I taught myself taught me, it, it got me to be a college basketball player. So practice, practice, practice. Say, I, I tell you what, I hope that, I think that was seven. I said I was going to do five. That's seven. If you follow these suggestions, you're going to get better every day. Guaranteed. You're going to get better every day guaranteed you will just follow these suggestions if you have any suggestions that will help me or help somebody else put them in the comments below tell me what you do to get better at something hey if you like this give me a like a thumbs up share it with your team make some comments if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you get notified when i do videos which is two a week tuesdays and fridays Hey, if you have any suggestions, right, put it in the comments below. You take care.